My name is Titus and I do art. Art has been important for me over the years because I find art in a way kind of forces you to take that time for yourself. It forces you to meditate. It forces you to do some introspection for yourself. And I find that it's a very healthy process. It's always been that thing that helps me sort of level myself, keep myself leveled, or even elevate myself. It holds me down and lifts me up. Art definitely started young. It started, I would say, before. Even I saw visual art. It started with music. So music was that primary art form that really first lured me into just what art is. And through that, I realized that while I don't find myself being more a musician, but I really had an affinity for drawing. For some reason, it just felt right. And I just knew what to do. I find like the, the art that I had the most fun doing comes from when I'm trying to express something that I may not have been able to express like with my own words when I'm trying to express something that I have no idea how to even start so I just jumped into it. I'm trying to get a more concrete process now. I just find that uh, creativity doesn't really have like a pattern too much of when it strikes for me sometimes and it just kind of happens but if there's any constant involved it's probably just checking in with myself going within. My grandma always used to tell me, like, go within. She still says this every time I see it. I think that that brings me to where I always need to be. The, the one thing I want people to know about me as an artist is just understanding. But on a grander scale, like, not even, like, really just understanding me, but understanding the people that are around me, the environment that is around me, the events that are happening around me. You know, I find that while I'm doing the work, I'm not always like the main focus of the work. A lot of the times, I may be drawing from something that family has experienced, you know, something that a close friend has experienced that really has impacted me. Talk about things like trauma, you know, and how that is a, a factor within everyday life here in the Bronx or any of those communities where people feel so it's rough, you know. I just want that to be understood. And for people to see the art that comes from there and the expression, the emotions that are felt, the things experienced, like that's part of my job is to turn that volume up just a little bit, um, or even a lot actually, so that people can hear it and do that, change can be enacted. I often create on surfaces that are considered to be non-traditional. I try my best not to use canvas actually, I would say. You know, like I don't purposely avoid it, but I don't always have the, the patience to do it. I find that some of my work can be impulsive because it comes from that need to express like now. Nah, you know, I can't wait till Friday to get paid to buy this and just away it have it take time to draw and stuff like that like it needs to happen now at this moment so i'll take even the door and i find down a block or whatever is in the trash like and i'll just pin it up and i'll start drawing on it and I'll start painting on it that'll be a canvas right there i feel art should be accessible and a lot of times with art it can often be seen as like an elitist form of just working in general when it's not it should be accessible to everybody we should be able to make art when we want how we want you know the important part of it is just what you're getting out of it you know what you expect from it. so yeah i'm not too worried about the materiality of things as long as i can continue to make art express the overarching goal is to have a building that houses several art practices i just want that central place where people can go there and be like I want to be an artist, how do I do that? That's been my goal for a while now, and it all has the overarching sort of theme of just unifying people, you know, making sure that um, we can stand together as a people. Because there's so many times when we try and it's just been disrupted, so uh, we need something that sticks, you know, and I feel like this is my try at it. My advice for younger artists who want to keep just creating is just, just keep doing just that, you know? And don't let anybody tell you from your path. Don't let anybody like try to sway you away from it. If that's something that you really feel in your soul that you want to do, even if it's just for this moment or like however long that this fire for you lasts, just allow it to burn. Mm-hmm.
Thank mm-hmm. you. 